It's a hundred years this year since the genre of Indian film known as Bollywood first launched. The first ever Bollywood film was a silent film, only 40 minutes long, during which all of the female roles were played by men. So a million miles from the all singing, all dancing, lavish affairs that epitomise Bollywood today. The golden era, well, what's considered to be the golden era, of Bollywood was the 50s and 60s and there are some amazing epics out there obviously very inspiring for me from a makeup point of view and a fashion and clothes point of view but also just the way they're made Bollywood films are just so colourful and they really draw you in today I'm going to base the look I'm going to do on a more recent Bollywood film and that is Devdas which is a 2002 production and it was the first film that really I think crossed over 100% into the West because it was nominated at Cannes, it won a BAFTA and um, I think it was the first film that really kind of made the Western world kind of watch a Bollywood film, a lot of people anyway, certainly me. Um, and it's a ma- it's an amazing film to watch because it's it's about three hours long, which is quite short actually for a Bollywood film. Um, but it's just it was the most expensive Bollywood film ever made, and it's just lavish sets and beautiful colours, incredible dancing in it. There's one duet between the two leading ladies where they dance together and sing called um, Dollar Di Dollar, which once you've seen it, the song kind of gets stuck in your head. But it's the most amazing <laughs> dancing and. A, I just I just love to watch that scene because it, it's just so beautiful. The the two actresses in it are Madari Dixit, who is a bit like a national treasure. She's a bit like I imagine the and I'm no expert on Bollywood, but she's a bit like the sort of Kate Winslet is to us. She is a very respected um, actress of iconic status who also happens to be incredibly beautiful as well. And the, I guess, world famous also Indian actress Ashwari Rai, who's just amazing looking and was a former Miss World who has the most beautiful sort of pale green eyes. And it's just a really great film. I have a beautiful model today. Her name is Nalintha. We met a couple of years ago and she was modelling and she was also studying to be a nutritionist. And um, I, she's gorgeous. So I hope you like the look. So I'm going to start by using some Pro Longwear Foundation by MAC and this will be a great base because it really evens out skin tone and obviously it's very long lasting as well which is perfect for this kind of look. So on to concealing and I'm not going to conceal around the eyes just yet simply because we're going to do quite a bit of eye makeup but I'm using a Bobbi Brown cream concealer which I'm mixing in with the base that I've just used. I'm going to use it just to conceal skin and we'll come back to eyes a little bit later on. So I'm just going to go over any areas that need extra concealing, just a little tiny bit of pigmentation here. And then a little bit of pinpoint concealing, so exactly using the same product, just onto any areas, pigmentation and patting in just to really conceal and give a really flawless look to the skin. So I've done most of the concealing. I'll do a little bit more at the at the end and obviously I'll do all the concealing under Nalintha's eyes at the end as well. So to start with eyes, I'm going to use Primer Potion by Urban Decay. Let's really blend that in. Smooth on all over. I'm going to start by using this palette from my kit which is Tom Ford's Amber, Burnished Amber, starting with the light peachy tone which is at the top left hand corner and I'm going to apply this it's quite shiny this color you can see it's slightly metallic but I'm just going to put it mainly across the lid and then very lightly smoothing it up towards Nalintha's brow it's a gorgeous kind of peachy gold really so next I'm going to use the bronzy shade at the bottom right hand corner which is this one it's very coppery but I'm going to mix it with Max devilishly dark so I get a kind of very deep chocolatey bronze color I'm going to apply this really through the socket line there just applying it to create some definition and then as you add more intensity just keeping everything soft, so blending and blending 
as it goes along. So keep a, a clean brush handy and with this type of look where it's quite an involved eye makeup, every time you use a different colour or apply a different shape just keep using your buffing, clean buffing brush and blending over the top. Otherwise if you leave it till it's all on and then you've got very hard lines then trying to blend everything becomes a nightmare so do it bit by bit. So next on to eyeliner because no Bollywood look would be complete without liner. I'm using the L'Oreal gel liner to start with and I'm going to smoke this out actually in a moment but to start with I'm going to trace it along the upper lash line and certainly in Deb does there's a, a lot of black eyeliner on show at all times I think it looks incredible. So I'm just tracing along the upper lash line to start very simply. And I'm going to bring this out a little bit more at the outer corners and then using the same gel trace along the lower waterline all the way along. This can be a little bit messy because I'm going to smudge it in a second and then if you're able do exactly the same on the upper waterline as well really filling in between the lashes. Now I'm just going to use a matte black eyeshadow this is a bourgeois one. Apply to a brush and I'm going to use this to really smoke out that line on the top. Not hugely but just soften the edges really. So just going back and forward, back and forward, just softening that edge. Ashwarya Rai has a really thick but soft edge line throughout the movie. It's kind of her signature look. In terms of colour around the eyes, the character Madhuri plays in the movie wears much stronger deep reddish bronzes around her eyes. But for this look today, I'm going to stick with the lighter, more golden bronzes that Ashwarya's character wears. And it's a little easier to carry off for those of you who want to rock a modern day Bollywood look. I'll finish that outer edge once the lashes go on. And now that there's hardly any left on the brush, I'm going to do exactly the same underneath and then give the eyelashes a good curl. And apply lots of mascara. Before I do the lower lashes, just look up for me. I'm using the little bit of the bronze eyeshadow that I used above, just at the outer corner there, to soften the line, and then straighten with the mascara. So for lashes, I'm going to use the Salon Systems Natural Lash. I'm gonna take off the short one at the outer edge, and then cut about half set, so cut from about here, and cut the short one off the edge and then dropping on the eyelashes just the half set at the outer edge to the centre and pushing them right into the roots. I'm also going to use the gel again just open if you're right for me and just map out where my wing's going to be here. I'm going to have a nice wing. Look down a little bit. So I'll just map that out now. And then using the powder the black powder, again we can soften that and smooth that in. And then using the same gel eyeliner, just really smooth over the lash band of the fake lashes so they blend in. And I'm just going to patch up now concealer underneath the eyes because we didn't do this earlier on. So I've just cleaned the area underneath Lintha's eyes and then just buffing on this is a Bobbi Brown in Golden. And then just setting everything now really well with powder under the eyes and setting all of the concealing as well, really gently. And down the centre of the face. I can leave this area with a little bit of shine on, which is nice, but all of the concealing work needs to be set properly. So onto eyebrows, and I'm just using the powder from the Gosh palette. This is the darkest grey shade to lengthen here. For blush I'm going to use this colour by um, MAC, it's one of their mineral powders. Kind of using it as a contour and blush together just to warm up the cheeks. I noticed in the film there's not really any pink cheeks or red on the cheeks, it's very much this kind of quite rich, tawny, bronzy shades. So for lips, I'm going to use a dark brown lip pencil. Um, the Lintha already has a nice lip line on the top lip. And I'm going to do this along the bottom lip. It looks really dark to start with. 
kind of too dark. So I'm just going to pat that on and then using a lip brush really blend it in. For lip colour I'm going to use this quite nice brownie, neutral brownie pink shade. In the movie they seem to have a really kind of quite browny lip colour in most of the scenes. So I'm just adding a little bit of pink because I actually think this looks really pretty on you, this colour. And in some of the real dancing scenes, they have positively sort of gold lips. And I'm going to finish off with this gold pencil by Max Factor. It's a gloss pencil, but it has a slightly metallic-y gold vibe to it. So it's quite nice and glossy. Okay, for final touches, I'm going to go back in with the colour that I use first, which is the sort of peachy tone, and just highlight under the brow. I'm also going to use that shade as a kind of highlighter on the top of the cheeks, exactly the same eyeshadow, just to give a really soft sheen more than a glow, I should say, rather than a, a strong highlight. And then for the eyes, in the final dance scene of Dolla Rudolla, which is my favourite. Have you seen that movie? Yeah. It is fantastic. <laughs> I love that dance scene. I want to learn how to do it. I noticed that both girls had really gold eyelids. So I'm going to pat on this gold shade, which is fabulous by Shimura, around the centre of the eye and into the inner corner. A bit of... Bollywood glamour. So just whenever the actress closes her eyes you get a lovely blink of um, pure gold there. And then blend that in. So that's the finished look. That is my Bollywood Devdas inspired look.